All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you another audio setting that got put in with the season three update. It's hidden inside of the game files. Not a lot of people know about it, and it's labeled number of output channels requested by the user. I've done a ton of testing on this setting, and to me, it seems like it can make the footsteps either stand out more against the background sounds or sort of blend in more depending on what you have it set to. Now, if you're pretty much like any other player out there, you obviously want them to stand out more, and I'm going to show you how for me, I did just that. Now, the only way to get to this setting is by going to the game files, clicking the little yellow folder down at the bottom of your desktop going to where it says documents and clicking call of duty and then players finding where it says options.3.cod22 or options.3.cod hq and if you're like me and you have both files you're going to want to open them both up by double clicking them and then select notepad or something similar to get inside of the file now once you have them both opened up you should be able to switch back and forth like i am here and then whatever changes you make just make sure you do it in both and don't forget to save and don't worry if you only have one file available that's just going to make it easier for you now this first setting here called audio mix i did a video on that not too long ago showing how it can actually make the footsteps louder if you have it set right i keep it at one but if you haven't seen that video i highly recommend you go and watch it after you're done here i go over a bunch of different ways i found to make the footsteps louder it worked for me i'll put a link at the end of the video i'll also link it in the description i also have another video about a setting in here that can make the game feel more responsive it's worked for a lot of people i'll link that in the description as well i have a bunch more videos like this planned and i'm going to continue to try to find ways to make the game better for both console and pc so make sure you're subscribed if you want the notifications now right below where it says audio mix this is the setting we're talking about today it says number of output channels requested by the user now i'm not a sound engineer but the way i understand it is this setting allows you to change how the audio is outputted by the game giving you the ability to change how many channels carry different sounds to your headset so in theory each separate sound in the game could have its own separate channel instead of it all coming in in one giant mix think of it like gunshots get a separate channel airstrikes get a separate channel voice alerts get their own channel and then footsteps get their own channel Channel, as opposed to it all coming in at once where everything's blended together, causing it to sound like one big blur. Now this setting allows you to set a number value from 0 to 16, changing how the sounds are blended. Now it says here not necessarily the actual channel count, and I take that meaning that the value that you set doesn't mean it's the actual number of channels used. Each number probably just represents a preset, and you really only have six options to choose from because it says here that only two, four, six, eight, and 16 are valid values that you can use, and zero is just a default setting. Now, pretty much every night for the last week, I've tried all six numbers, and I tried it in both stereo mode and Windows default, and to me, it seems the lower the number I use, the more the footsteps stand out. Now, the actual volume of the footsteps stays pretty much the same, no matter what number I use, but how the footsteps stand out compared to the background noises, that seems to change quite a bit as I change these values. Now, for me, the footsteps sounded the most noticeable whenever I set the value to two. There's not a huge difference when I went from zero to four, but whenever I use 6, 8, or 16, the footsteps started to sound really washed out. It starts to sound like it did before they put the patch out. Everything sounds like a jumbled mess. 8 and 16 are definitely the worst. 0 and 2 for me sounded the best. Now, it could be different for you depending on your headset and your audio setup. I would just do some experimenting, see how it sounds. But for me, it just feels like two had the clearest footsteps. They really seem to stand out against all the other noises in the game. Like I said before, I ran this experiment like five days in a row and every single time two sounded the best. Now, where things get kind of interesting is when I switch the speaker output between stereo and Windows default. I noticed this weird difference between the two. Whenever I had the value set to two and then the speaker output on Windows default, the overall volume of the footsteps sounded a little bit louder, probably because of my Windows settings that I go over in the other video. But whenever I had the speaker output set to stereo, it seemed like it was easier to tell if someone was above me or below me. The up and down directional audio just seemed more distinct compared to the Windows default setting. Now, personally, I'd rather have the overall louder footsteps than the up and down directional audio. So I'll probably stick with Windows default, but I just thought I would mention it if you guys wanna check it out you can always switch it too if you're ever in a building and you're trying to hear if someone's above you or below you now maybe it's just me but i definitely noticed a difference like i said before if you want to see my windows audio settings you can check it out in the other video and if anything ever changes i'll just make an updated version now everybody's setup's different and you can always experiment for yourself but i highly recommend you try changing the value in parentheses to two see how it sounds just make sure whenever you change anything in here you go up to where it says file and you click save and if you have both files remember to change it and save it in both 
Now quickly, I do wanna mention that if you've seen my other video on the audio mix settings, I recommend that anytime you're gonna play, you launch the game first and then open the game files. Make sure the audio settings haven't reverted. For some reason, whenever I launch the game, the audio mix setting in the COD22 file, it reverts to four and the footsteps start sounding bad. Once the game is open, I'll manually change it back to one and the footsteps are good again. It doesn't happen in the COD HQ file, just COD 22, just something to be aware of. And try this audio channel setting for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm on Astro A40s with a mix amp and a Go XLR. So for me, changing the value to two is definitely the way to go. Be on the lookout for my recoil control video. It could definitely help you out if you have issues with recoil. I've never seen anybody else cover this before. And I also have an advanced NVIDIA settings video specifically designed for Warzone that should be out soon as well. If you found this video helpful, drop a like. Follow me over on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Warzone 2. And subscribe to the YouTube channel for more short, straight to the point videos like this. I'll catch you next time. And if not, kick rocks. Peace. Kick rocks,